I feel like the first thing we have to do is address the wig. <laughs> My name is Monica and welcome back to my channel and yes, I'm wearing this amazing teal colored wig um, As many of you know, I wasn't really feeling very comfortable with my um, pixie cut uh, I don't know why I've had pixie cuts before but basically I was just not feeling it So I went online one day and I said, you know, why don't I do something a little bit crazy and get a wig in a color that I would never try for real on my hair and I did and this is the result and I really like it and I'm just gonna wear it sometimes for videos it's not it's not like I hate my hair or that I feel that I need to hide it because it's horrible it's just that sometimes it's a lot of fun hang on my husband has decided that he needs something right now so yeah sometimes you just need a little bit of like Fun and a little bit of change. It's like getting a new shirt or trying on a new lipstick, you know? So yeah, I am definitely feeling this pirate space princess feel. So that was a long intro about a wig. <laughs> but actually what this video is about is a book chat. And in case you don't know, Book Chats is my little segment here on YouTube where I talk about book-related things that don't necessarily have to do with like reading a book. It's just things that have been gnawing on my noggin about book buying, about reading books, about the publishing industry. All of this stuff that I, I just feel has a place within the booktube community but isn't just about reading can't me one thing I want you to know about book chats it's that it's basically just me expressing my opinions to like-minded folks that might or might not feel the same way that I do it's not me saying that I feel that this is correct and this is incorrect or something like that unless I'm literally telling you not to kink shame because we're too old for that we don't kink shame on this channel at all okay I might not like your kink but I support that you read it within the realm of fiction. We've been through this! Book chats up here. Anyway, today what I want to talk about is reading <laughs> and why we read. You know, um, I have been thinking about this a lot, um, especially since this um, Black Lives Matter movement and uh, now I see a lot of people defending a lot of um, Native American authors and the Native American representation within the book community and my cat is using the litter box, we're just gonna ignore her but bit no we're not, we can't ignore her from the cat interruption. But yes, as I was seeing all of these movements come about, I realized something, and it's that not everyone reads for the same reasons. And and this is not me defending people that read, um, uh, that are colorblind when they read, or that they um, are basically racist <laughs> when they read. What I'm saying is, I think that the book community has turned to reading as a kind of, I don't want to say like, yeah, banal experience, you know? Like, oh, I finished this book, next book, I finished this book, next book, oh, this book had a cute love triangle, oh, this book had this, this book had, but we never really stop to think about what we're reading and the impact that has both on us and on other people. Or at least that's the feeling that I kind of get from watching booktube for as long as I have. It's kind of, and, I, and I'm not saying that reading for an escape is a bad thing. I'm not saying that you have to always just read really deep intense books that make you wonder about humanity. No, you don't. But I wonder if we're ever really stopping to think about what we are reading or if we're just reading as like the way we watch movies where it's like okay done with that next done with that next we need a new marvel movie we need a new star wars movie we need next 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 even for people that are slower readers i feel like even though they are reading slowly it's like we're not thinking about what we're reading we're just reading 
to fill up time. The same thing we go through Twitter, the same thing we do when we go through Instagram. We're just kind of mind-numbingly reading. And I don't like that. <laughs> there, I said it. I, I support you if that's what you want to do, but is that what is going to boil down to? Is, it, is this really going to be Fahrenheit 451 where we just have these walls of text in front of us that make up for the lack of something in our lives and we're just going to just consume and consume and consume without thinking? Is that what we want? <laughs> And this is not saying that the more books you read is like the more you consume the, the less you think because I don't think that's true I consider myself a pretty like Cathartic reader like I really like to think about the things that I read and I Read a lot compared to a lot of people. It's not about the amount that you read It's about whether or not you're thinking about what you're reading and when I'm talking about thinking about it I'm not talking about fangirling or fanboying or fan peopling it over on uh, Twitter or Instagram or Tumblr or whatever what I'm talking about is are you really getting anything out of this book except oh my god I want a relationship just like that or oh my god that was such a fun thing or that was such a fun ride like I I'm sorry I did the valley girl accent I'm really sorry about that but it's just I want us to get more out of books and I think the more critical we are of what we are reading will automatically lead us to realize when books are written in a way that is insulting to other people like the, the, the treatment of black authors of, of people of color in books of of native american authors of, of, of aboriginal authors is despicable and i think that happens because we're just reading to read and i know i know you're thinking monica but reading is my escape i don't want to you know well i'm sorry to tell you that yeah, it's good that it's an escape, but I mean That can't be your excuse So in my mind We really have to stop this whole I'm reading to just read and to escape or not to escape because Reading is an escape. It can be an escape, but it doesn't mean that you can't Think about it, you know, it's like it's I, I always say like going on vacation somewhere and staying in a resort did you really go to vacation or did you stay at a resort and if the experience you want is to stay at a resort fine but then don't say that you know foreign places because you don't it's the same thing with reading don't say that you're reading to get something out of it except mind-numbing fun and if that's what you want great but no that that is potentially dangerous and potentially really problematic for people in real life. I guess that's pretty much <laughs> it. Gosh, I'm so scared to post this. Everybody's gonna hate me after this. They're gonna be like, Monica just wants us to read classics and to analyze them. No, I don't want you to read classics. I mean, some classics are fun, but what I want you to do is I want you, when you read a book, to really stop and consider it, to, to, to consider what's inside. What are you putting into your brain when you're reading this book? That's it, that, that, that's all I want. That, that's all I want. And that's all you should want. I'm not, like, we're not, again, we're not literary critics. We can't be here, like, criticizing a work in that manner. But we can talk about our feelings, our emotions, and about what they make us feel. And that's why it's so important to read from different kinds of authors that are not just white hetero authors. And if maybe we had been thinking about what we had been reading from the beginning, we wouldn't be having the problem of the fact that we only just recently found out that most of us only read white hetero authors. Maybe we wouldn't be having this problem. But alas, here we are, and we do. And the good thing is, problems have solutions. And the solution is 
So after book, even if you start a book right away, it doesn't matter because sometimes I like to start books right away, just think about it just for a minute. Just while you're laying in bed, think about, or even as you're reading, think about what you are reading and what that brings to your life. Maybe it brings nothing but entertainment, that's fine. But at least think about it. And I'm not saying that I think you personally don't, but there's a lot of people out there that definitely don't. <laughs> and I can tell by their content. So, that has been my book chats for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have anything to share with me, please do so down below. And for now, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays with my cool teal looking wig. <laughs> Not always, but sometimes. And well, I will see you in a galaxy far, far away. Hopefully, where we are more in tune with what we are reading. Bye, guys.